Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication, a company of UC Collaboration. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of UC Collaboration. In this particular lab, number 9, I'm going to show you how to deploy Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise Logger. Logger is the main database server of UCCE. Now, first thing we do in order before we can uh, configure a logger, we need to create a database. So under the Cisco Unified tools uh, that you have on your desktop, the folder, there should be a, is, uh, an application called ICMDBA. What this application does is basically a database management uh, client. It allows you to create a database on the particular server. Now when you try to open it, it you might get a browser um, uh, the error, so which is fine. So say, click on OK and move on. It's because the computer browser is currently turned off. Uh, in a duplex environment, you may need to enable that feature if you want this application to be able to find all your servers. But right now, uh, it might give you, it's going to give you a warning about the SQL Server. TAM DB size may not be correctly set. If you'd like to expand it, so click on uh, yes to go ahead. And that will expand the da database that uh, the temporary database in your Microsoft SQL Server as per the requirement. So now uh, we're just going to wait for a few seconds for that application to show up and then we will start creating our databases as per the requirement. Now the ICM DBA, like I said, you can only use this once the instance has been added in our based on our lab number seven, for example. So first, you must add this instance before you can add the ICM, um, the ICM DBA. You can use ICM DBA. Now, once it is there, I can see my instance cus01. I will right-click on that and create a new database. So first thing I'm going to do is create a logger A. It's going to give you a warning that SQL Server may not be configured properly. So go ahead and correct that if you need to. It's going to restart the SQL Server agent. That's fine. Again, continue with the uh, acknowledgement. The next step is a type of logger uh, based on your deployment model, enterprise, hosted or not. Uh, you can select the type. We're going to select uh, enterprise. And then next thing is going to do is going to define the type of logger uh, database. So you can do uh, site A or outbound for site A. Uh, region North America, UK or Japan, or that's the three options that you have. We will select.